welcome back to the cafe and along shortly is Chef Mark to show us how to create a delicious chicken tikka. Now though on Perpetual Guardian Money Matters, today we are discussing the issues affecting the older members of our community. Age Concern works to support over 65s and we have the organisation's Chief Executive Stephanie Clare here along with us, along with our regular finance guest Charlotte Lockhart. Welcome to the cafe both of you. Good morning. Now Stephanie let's start with you, what are the most worrying issues that you see? We see a lot of financial abuse at Age Concern New Zealand. Um, we have over 2,000 referrals a year and a half of those are financial, have involved in financial abuse. And actually three quarters of those are by their family themselves. Wow, that seems quite mm, extreme. It is. Although I'm not can entirely surprised seeing some of the news stories that we hear about. Mm. Um, Charlotte, a Perpetual Guardian, you help people or clients organise their wills, don't they? Do people need to be thinking about enduring power of attorney? Yes, look, you always want to have these things in place before you need them. Mm -hmm. So do them at the same time. It's nice and easy. And, and back to what Stephanie's saying, have somebody independent involved, whether you have an independent attorney and a family member too, so there's someone else having a look at what's going on. Yeah, because sometimes your family members don't have your best interests at heart, do they? I mm -hmm. mean, a lot of the time they do, and that's great, but sometimes some of them don't. Oh, and temptations you know, trouble. Yeah. And expectation. An older person wants to look after their family and sometimes can't. Well, that's true. That's mm. very true. Now, it's common too for older people to be asked to guarantor mm. uh, for a family member on a loan. What are the pitfalls that need to be considered when they do this? Well, actually, um, for the pitfalls, it would be what age that person is, if they um, um, have any um, reason to ask for the money? Is it for a, a desire? Is it for something they need? Can they save for this money? And at the end of the day, that the older person has to pay for it if anything goes wrong. They do have to remember mm. that, you know, that these things do happen. If things fall over, businesses fall over, they need to be they paying do. the money at the end. So Charlotte, bequests. How easy is it to set aside money for charitable organisations oh, like easy. Age Concern, for yeah, example? Really easy. So you just, if you're passionate about mm. what Age Concern do, then you just leave a small amount or a large amount in your will. It's quite easy. You need to look after your, your family first um, and so having a good family discussion about what mm. you're wanting to do, easy. Okay, now we should talk about actually a little bit more about what Age Concern actually does, mm. Stephanie. What sort of work do you do? We do a number of social connection activities, so connecting people together, um, volunteer services that look at visiting older people, elder abuse and neglect, so we go in and see what's going on in someone's life if they need a bit of a hand. And so what would the, say if someone did bequest you something, what would that be used for? It would be used for any of the activities. Um, it could be used for um, a social connection project. But you don't actually have to wait till you um, leave a bequest. You can actually give something to us before then. You can come and have some time with us and see what the organisation does. And when you say the social connection project, what sort of things are we talking about? Oh, cup of tea. Cafes. Cafes have popped up all around New Zealand. Older people get together, have cakes and have a chat. Oh, that sounds that really, really fun. Nice. Yep. I like the sound of that. Excellent. Well, thanks so much. And great financial advice for our over 65s, Charlotte and Stephanie.